worldwide, we have about 4,400 employees, uh, with about 800 of those in Fountain Valley's corporate headquarters. Uh, all of the direction of the company comes out of Fountain Valley. Uh, we have five manufacturing facilities, uh, three in China, one in Taiwan, and then here in Fountain Valley. Here in Fountain Valley, we're doing about 5% of overall production. So it's low volume, higher mix. Uh, we have approximately uh, 60 SMT lines worldwide, with two of them here in Fountain Valley. So we'll see that today on, on the tour. These are the stencils that we saw hanging uh, in the other room. So again, we lay these over the top of the PCB and then we press solder paste through the holes. Very similar to silk stringing a t-shirt. And then obviously wherever there's solder, there will be a component. This is just taking a, a, a picture down on top of the mod modules and it makes sure there's enough solder paste in each location before it moves on to the next uh, point. Quality control, yeah, it's, cr it's crucial along the line. Again, otherwise you could potentially produce thousands of something with a problem. Uh, these two machines, they place the, uh, in this particular case, the USB connector, which is on this reel here, yep. is placed, uh, the controller is placed, as well as the flash chip is being placed at this, at this point as well. So again, everything's been placed up until this point, nothing has been soldered yet. So the next step in the process is this uh, is the reflow machine. So this is where the components will actually be soldered to the PCB. So we cycle temperature up to 500 degrees Fahrenheit. And when the uh, modules come out on the other side, everything's been uh, soldered to the PCB. So this machine is going to take a picture down on top of the finished module to make sure that all the components are in the right place and nothing's out of, out of order. This is a labeler, so this is where the work order number, serial number is put onto the component. Uh, this machine is a PCB separator, so this is where we uh, actually uh, cut the individual modules or USB drives out of that uh, panel of 12 and they become individual drives. So once we've, once we've cut them, uh, we have leftovers that we, that we recycle. In this particular scenario, we're able to uh, stack eight motherboards um, in a single station, and with a KVM switch, we can run you know uh, multiple systems. So it's a, it's a great way to really scale your testing capability in a really small area. Okay. So again, this is a manual testing process where an operator would plug the modules in, we run the test, where we get a pass or fail scenario. Uh, these are our automated test machines. Uh, nothing's running right now. Uh, this is our latest uh, test machine, the KT2501. Uh, again, um, uh, all designed by engineers here at Kingston. Um, this particular machine can process approximately a thousand modules an hour. Uh, micro SD card packaging. Uh, so we're packaging the micro SD card and the adapter. Uh, we do this. in what we call a card-to-card uh, -card packaging versus a blister pack. Uh, so this offers the same level of security as a blister pack, um, uh, but it, it costs less to produce and it's better for the environment. Uh, 